If you've been arrested for a DUI and you submitted to a breath test, is that breath test reliable? My name is Benjamin Von Shook. I'm a DUI lawyer in Atlanta, Georgia. Now that breath test, the first thing to understand is that that was done on a machine. And machines have to be taken care of, they have to be calibrated, and they have to be serviced. Just like any machine that you've had experience with, an ATM machine, those break down all the time, they have to be serviced. A car, cars break down all the time, they have to be serviced. And computers, how frustrating can it be when your computer breaks down? These machines break down all the time. Did you know that if the breath machine breaks or it's shown that it wasn't calibrated or being accurate? Did you know that the state will not notify you of that? One of the most amazing things I find when I pull the records from the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is that the machines have not always been calibrated and fixed, or if they were calibrated and fixed, nobody was notified that the machine might have been broken when you took a breath test. The other, the other factor of whether the test is reliable and whether the machine, if functioning properly, is accurate. Now the breath test machine that we currently use in Georgia, it's called the Intoxilizer 5000. They're actually replacing it right now and by the year 2015 it'll be completely replaced. Well if that machine was reliable and accurate, why would the state be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars of replacing it? You know, that is a common question that everybody I think needs to answer and the answer is, is because the machine does have issues. It can't always test for just alcohol. There are other substances that can get in there that can make the test, that can interfere with the test results and make it higher than it may seem. Also, there are individual characteristics of a person. There are physiology that can affect the test. Somebody that has indigestion can affect the test. Somebody that has had mouth work, um, teeth and dental work can affect the test. Also, if you're on a diet, such as an Atkins diet or something where you're um, eating a lot of protein, that can affect the actual test results as well. So there are a lot of issues with every single breath machine, whether it's the machine and its reliability or the person who's taken the test. My name is Benjamin Von Shook. I've handled many DUI cases where somebody did take a breath test. If you've taken a breath test and you think the results aren't accurate, give me a call and I can talk about how I can help. My name is Benjamin Von Shook and I look forward to talking to you.